In this lecture, we'll have the look at the cost of the project based on the resources we have assigned to them. In order to know the total budgeted cost of the project, I'll go to the columns menu here and select customize. It will open a window here. I'll go to the costs option and under the cost option, I'll select the budgeted total cost of my project. This budgeted total cost column will be added to my columns and I'll click apply. Once I click apply, I'll be able to see the total budget of my project here. It shows me the total budget of my project as 11 million and 338,000. And similarly against each activity, it shows the budgeted cost of each activity. In this way, I know the budget of my project. If I want to see the S curve or the progress curve, plan progress curve of my project, I need to go to this option, which is known as the activity usage profile. Now, in order to see my project budget in graphical view or the S curve of my project, all I need to do is to select the activity usage profile option. I'll go to this activity usage profile option and click on it. Once I click on it, you will see that it opens a new window with a graph. Here you can see the cost curve of your project and the weekly or monthly cost of your project. You can right click and change the time scale. Let's say if I change it to month view and click apply, it will give me the monthly budgeted cost of my project. I can again change it in the time scale to week view or as the view I wish to see. So this is my weekly cost for my project and this is the cumulative curve. Now in order to look at the resources of my project and how resources are assigned, how many units of resources are assigned per week for the project, I will go to the resource usage profile option here. Once I click resource usage profile option, it opens me another graph of the resources. So as I know, I have assigned resources to my project, Mary, John, Rahul and Altaf. If I want to see their assignments, I will highlight the resource I want to see, let's say John, and it shows me that John has been assigned budgeted units of 100 in this week and a budgeted unit of 100 again in another week. If I want to see all of them, I'll just hold the control button and select all of them and it shows me the total resource assignments. This graph is also known as resource histogram. Again, if I change the time scale, I can make the time scale on the daily basis. It can show me at every day how many units, budgeted units of my resources are assigned to my project. I can again change the time scale to week view or month view as I wish. So now you know how to see the cost curve of your project and how to see the resource histogram of your project as well. In our next lecture, we will see how to maintain a baseline and assign a baseline to our project.